Well, a good Sunday morning to you. It's Dan. I want to welcome everyone to my home in the sticks. I hope everybody's having a good weekend. But over here in East Central Mississippi, it come a flood last night. It's probably going to come a flood again today. And it is foggy as all get out. Before we get started on today's video, I always like to mention that if you are new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And if you're returning just to see what old Dan's got going on over her, I show sure enough thank you for coming back. But what I want to share with you and y'all today is I'm going to show you what I did yesterday. Lord mercy, we did a bunch. We finna go off into this shop and this video is going to be multi-purpose. Give me a second. That's what we finna do's. <laughs> Dan, what you done did? Well, I'm here to tell you, Saturday, I called a buddy of mine and I was like, hey, can you give me a hand? Because I have a hankering to make some green onion sausage. Can you come give me a hand? Another set of hands is always good. So we sure enough made a bunch of green onion sausage. I am here to tell you. And I also want to take the time today, I always get a lot of questions about, Dan, what's going on with your sausage making equipment? How's it holding up? What you think about it? So I figured today would be a good day to do that and explain to you and y'all how this stuff's working. So what I use to do all of my processing over here is a Hocker Brothers five pound sausage stuffer. And this gear is approximately maybe three years old and I also get questions on this guy right here. This is the Weston uh, number eight half horse commercial grade grinder. So Dan, how is this stuff working? I couldn't be more pleased with how this equipment has worked for me. Three years into it, I probably put a little over 400 pounds of sausage through this machine and the same with this ground up a little over 400 pounds of sausage with the grinder I don't have any anything bad to say about either one except my only regret on the Hakka Brothers uh, Sausage stuffer is my only regret is I didn't get a bigger machine. This only does five pounds So you have to reload it quite often and I always get a comment like Dan. Why does your equipment look uh, new. Well, I take care of my gear. Every time I use either one of these machines, when I break it down and I wash it, I always coat everything inside and out with this stuff right here. And this is food grade silicon spray. So everything gets a good dousing of this stuff. Everything. Well, except for the motor. But on this stuffer, everything, outside, inside, everything gets it. This stuff preserves it, especially these funnels. They're made out of stainless steel, but they will rust. But I coat down every one of them with the silicone spray. Haven't had any problems thus far. The next part of this video, or the second thing that I want to bring up, is seasoning. I always say I'm always into vacuum sealing any kind of seasoning that I use, any kind of food that I want to preserve, especially for the deep freeze, I always bring up the Food Saver. I think it's a 5200 series Food Saver. I always bring that up. Today, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna exemplify why I like to uh, vacuum seal things, especially spices. Here is a pack of spices. I uh, opened this up on 1219, but what I use to make a batch of green onion sausage with is this and if you can see right there it says sell by or use by December 2018 and there are the spices that I used I actually emptied it out and dumped it into just a Pyrex bowl that seasoning was vacuum sealed in the same way that this one is and you could tell that it is a tight vacuum seal no air has got to that Point being is if you properly vacuum seal your seasonings, they will stay for a long time. I was kind of hesitant. I was like, yeah, I vacuum sealed the seasoning uh, two years ago. I was talking to my friend. I was like, what do you think? Well, we opened it up and we tried it and guess what? 
we rocked on with it. Dan, why is the sausage in the refrigerator and not vacuum sealed and in the deep freeze? That's actually a really good question. What I have found throughout the years of processing uh, deer meat and sausage for myself and from, for a few friends is we made the sausage yesterday. We stuffed it, rolled it out in the links. If you put it in the refrigerator overnight, 24 hours is really best. That meat draws up and it makes it a lot easier to vacuum seal. That's why it's in the refrigerator. And that is what we're gonna do today. Uh, friends coming back over and we're gonna vacuum seal all of that sausage and put it in a deep freeze. We got a big day today too. So that's what I wanted to share with you and y'all today. I wanted to show you what I did uh, over the weekend, Saturday specifically. And I also wanted to show you the sausage that we made, the seasoning that I vacuum sealed two years ago that we actually used in the sausage, and also uh, just let everybody know what's going on with the sausage stuffing gear and grinder that I use over here because I, I always get questions, Dan, how is, how you liking it? Is it working for you? Have you had any problems with any of that equipment? And the answer overall is no. The only thing that I will say is if you are into uh, deer processing or making your own sausage or stuffing your own sausage, uh, look at Hawker Brothers. I'm not sponsored by Hawker Brothers and I'm not getting paid to say this. But my only, my only regret, I did not get the bigger version. I think maybe down the road, I may get the 20 pound version. The five pound version is working really, really good. It's just you have to reload that cylinder multiple times if you have a lot of sausage to stuff. So again, I hope everybody is having a good Sunday and I hope everybody is being safe amid this crisis that we still have going on. If you uh, like this video, go and give it a thumbs up to help. If you haven't subscribed to the Home and Sticks channel, Lord of mercy. Y'all need to come on over here, give old Dan a look, because I'm always doing stuff, like stuffing sausage. With that being said, you know it's coming Dan reference show enough, always gonna say it. Don't let nobody do your shine. And I mean nobody, you show enough, get your shine on. Be you, it's important. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.